Here's a quick tutorial on how to open Faceware Retargeter in Motion Builder. So what you want to do is when you have your scene loaded, you want to load up your actual scene that you're going to be animating in first, and then you want to go to Window, Asset Browser. You can also find the Asset Browser available on the bottom right of your screen by default. Uh, and you're going to go to Devices. Under Devices, you'll see Faceware Retargeter, and you want to click and drag this right into your viewport. And that's going to create a device that's actually going to connect Faceware Retargeter's uh, controls and all of the data and, and everything that it's doing right to your scene. So once the device is in our scene, we want to open up this folder here. And this is the installation folder for Retargeter 4.0. You'll find it in C, uh, by default anyway, C, Program Files, Faceware, Retargeter 4, Motion Builder, and then whatever version you're working in. Within this folder, we have Faceware Retargeter GUI. Double click this, and that is going to bring up uh, the window for Faceware Retargeter. To get to Character Setup, you'd go to Advanced Character Setup. That's going to bring up our second window. And again, because of this device that we've added in Motion Builder, the interface is now connected to your scene. If you were to open this executable up without having the device in here, it won't actually be connected properly to Motion Builder. So it's very important that first you add the device and then from there bring in your executable. Now if I were to have this open and then create a new Motion Builder scene, this current instance of this executable of Faceware Retargeter is not connected to Motion Builder. So if I open up a new scene, I've actually got to close that bring in my device again and just reopen the executable. It's sort of the way Motion Builder works and how it talks to outside applications is that we use this device so it's important to have your device set up before opening this. Uh, you do that and you should have no problem but if you do you can always head over to support.facewaretech.com for more help.